so basically this is a sample code uh, which shows uh, I mean using selenium I'm just trying to launch a website say facebook.com okay so let's see this uh, I'm just kind of thinking you know to just go reverse firstly I will show exactly if you see right so I have executed this piece of code and if you could see uh, so now the browser is launched and the screen get maximized if I close this right so if you see the code is executed okay so now uh, in order to achieve this I mean see this is the basic from where your exactly selenium automation gets started yeah so now uh, we will go ahead of this but uh, before going ahead of this right I am just recording this session just to show how one can achieve this the basic the very basic setup right so in order to achieve this you need this four items one your uh, Java JDK another one you need Eclipse IDE then you need a uh, selenium jar and you need a chrome driver right so let's go for see checking uh, your java jdk right so what you can do you can just open your chrome browser and you can just write download jdk 8 for windows uh this additional thing right i mean uh, i will tell you why i am just trying from this side because if I'll just remove this, okay, let's not take more time, right? It will direct to Oracle, the main website, right? But if I just try downloading from here, it will ask me to do sign in and other, right? So just to avoid those hustles, say if I select this and just go on download, it will ask me to sign up. So just to avoid those hustle, right? Again, if you want to, so you can add this at the last file dot repo and you can download it from here so if you see this is your java part right so just open this and straight away click on download latest version this pop-up will come you can close this okay and uh, as soon as you close that your uh, downloading should get started so i'm not sure why it is not doing uh, just let's wait for some time yeah so if you see this uh, download is getting started I will cancel it for now because I already have this so now once you will have this Java thing getting downloaded yeah the next thing you can do is so once you have the Java part available right if you see I will go to my C driver I'll show you that uh, I have uh, this Java already installed into my system yeah so I need not to install this right so this is the version of the Java I have uh, way back I have installed it into my system right so uh, the next thing you need is you need to uh, just set uh, the path variable right so there are two things to that let me just open what I've already written it right so in order to set uh, the source variable right you need a user variable and that you will be putting this now what exactly this this is you'll be uh, putting java home this should be underscore and then the path the the main path right where exactly your java file is saved if you will see right so just open this and this path you will you will be putting there after that there is another thing which you update as your system variable there we just need to uh, go edit there is a path option right you just be updating your uh, path till your bin right now what that is exactly is so if you just double click on bin right so this is the path I'm talking about now how to go there right so let me go on my desktop and this PC just right click go to properties once you will be there in the properties right advanced setting system settings then uh, you have environment variable part thing right so if you see I have already uh, updated it right this Java home exactly what I was asking and you will be giving your full path till your GRE right and now if I talk about the system variable right so in system variable you will be giving the path and updating it with till bin yeah if you'll see it is updated till bin yeah so let me anyway I have updated it so I'll close it okay so once you have this with you the other thing you will need is your Eclipse IDE 
now how to get eclipse id same you just go type download now i have already done this so eclipse for window open it okay and it is fine if you download the latest version right um, so i have, i'm just using this version only and i have downloaded it so you just simply need to click on download and if you see here so this is the file i'll double click and your download will get started now i will close this because i have already installed it into my system right so once you have this uh, in place your uh, eclipse right you can just simply install it now uh, if i go to uh, this c drive right so this was this is the one which will be coming in now once you will install it okay let me go to uh, c drive okay so this is the eclipse i have okay uh, so you can uh, yeah so this is the one which will be there in place let me see if it is showing somewhere in program files also yeah so uh, you can simply install your eclipse from here okay now uh, moving ahead right once you will install the eclipse right so you also so that is step 2 right now if i talk about step 3 right so let's not get confused here you need a selenium jar uh, i just want to show here if you see this is the reference library okay and this shows only this single standalone jar and if you could see right this is also serving the purpose so now we we are talking about step 3 where you need to download your selenium jar so let me show you how exactly you will be downloading your selenium jar yeah so i will be uh, yeah see there in the download it is already there yeah so i will be going to this first website which is showing there then you have uh, if you will see below right this is a bit confusing right based on your uh, language what you are using right so you could be downloading this java part but irrespective if you download this selenium grid right it will serve the purpose this is only simple one jar so you just simply need to you know click on download so this downloads get started so i'll cancel it yeah and you can just wherever it is say in the downloads i have already this if you'll see so once you will download it right uh where that stand alone part is uh i have i might have saved in this one yeah so this is the one this is server stand alone part so just you can uh, unzip it and then copy and you can uh, not sorry uh, not this one copy paste so uh, now let me tell you how you can import it right so you can just go in file uh, not file actually sorry yeah just on your project right just right click uh, go to your uh, i mean build path then you i mean you can directly add this one but let me open configure build path okay enter the library select on this module add external jar you can give the location same way i have added this and you can apply and close i'm not making any changes right now so this things will get added yeah so this is about your selenium jar now the next thing is your uh, chrome driver right so the place where you have downloaded this jar right there only you will be getting your selenium uh, jar thing i might have closed that one yeah after downloading so let me type again selenium jar the same page will have your uh, driver also if you go below right into the browser here you have your chrome just click on documentation and if you see the latest table release this one i will take i have anyway i have downloaded this only now it will direct you to the download page so uh, based on your operating system say i am working on windows so i will take windows 32 zip yeah you can just unzip it and earlier i was talking about copy paste right so this driver you can put it in your any local location or irrespective if, even if you just try pasting it here right that will also serve the purpose yeah at least uh, i mean there won't be any hassle say if you download your delete i mean if you delete all the download folder or anything irrespective yeah 
so this is the last item and if you could see uh, now the small piece of code what I have written right this is how we call our uh, driver this is your system dot set properties where you write your web driver dot forum dot driver you give the location of your I mean whatever that this browser location part right if you'll see so this is the location is what it's saying I have just copy pasted it then we initiate our web driver okay uh, whatever the uh, browser you will be using you can just explicitly mention that same way you will be downloading the driver for that only so say chrome driver and then we know uh, the selenium steps right how to launch uh, any url so this is driver dot navigate to and this i have done the maximize part let me just run it again and show you that yeah this was the piece of code which was uh, doing the job yeah so it will be it will just launch your application and uh, i know i have uh, just come um, you know covered it high level right so while downloading i mean wherever you're facing any problem you can just uh, write your question in the comment box i will surely uh, try to answer that yeah so uh, in next videos we will surely be uh, trying to go ahead of the steps and we will just try to you know learn more things exactly how we can learn more automation into selenium what are the new things we can do right so we will see that in the next video for now uh, i mean thank you yeah